Hey everyone, as always, thanks for coming to check out today's video. So, today's video is a, it's kind of more of a public service announcement than anything else. Um, you know, if you've been following along with my videos, you you know that they've been all about security so far. And, uh, um, today's video is going to actually kind of be a story. Let me put the dog down and get situated. <laughs> Recently, I got into a car wreck. And of course, as it were, it was the day that I had asked my wife to take her car. Her car is much more comfortable than my truck, and um, she wasn't going anywhere that day, so I was like, hey, can I take your car for the day? So she was like, sure, go ahead. And not too much longer, I had called her and said, um, I'm really sorry, I got into a car accident. Thankfully, it was not my fault. So what had happened was, uh, going to work, just pulled on to the main, one of the main roads for me to go to work, it's four lane, one way. Four lanes, one way. I just since I just pulled onto the road, I was on the inside lane, like I should have been. And the car in the lane to the right of me uh, merged into my lane. It was a very simple accident. Um, the other driver didn't mean to do it. We both pull over, and the driver gets out, comes to my car, and apologizes. And um, well, first to make sure that I'm okay. And they apologize, and at that point we wait on the local uh, sheriff to come to the scene to come do what they need to do. So I go ahead and I call my insurance company, and I tell my insurance company what happened. I tell them the other driver hit me, and what they basically at that point explain to me is that unless the other driver admits to the trooper that they ran into me, that it was going to be my word versus their word. And sure enough, even though the driver had been really nice and apologetic to me, when the trooper got there, the other driver, uh, their demeanor immediately changed and they tried to start blaming me for the accident. Um, so at this point, it's now my word versus their word. However, fortunately for me, the other driver admitted to coming into my lane. And as soon as the trooper heard that, the trooper said, okay, got it, you, uh, improper lanes change and cited the other driver to fall. Prior to this, one of the things that I've been meaning to do for a long time and just haven't gotten around to doing it is buying a dash cam. Had I had a dash cam installed in my car, I could have just simply shown the trooper the footage and that would have been the end of it. Now, granted a dash cam only covers what's in front of it. In this particular wreck, the dash cam would have captured what happened. So, I went ahead and um, I bought a dash cam. They are incredibly cheap. I actually got one off of Groupon and uh, came in the mail pretty quick. And uh, it was it was originally 20 bucks. Um, it was a Groupon code. I got it for 10 bucks. It showed up shipped to my door for 13 and some change. Uh, this is an Aduro DBC 500. So I'm gonna just go ahead and cover um, some of the features of this model. They're, they'll pretty much all be the same. Um, this one records in HD, it does looping. Anyways, I'll show you what all is inside the box and I'll go over the features and what it looks like in my truck and uh, some of the ways you can install these. All right, here you can kind of see everything that comes with it. Obviously, here's the camera, here's the front, here's the back, the screen for it. You can see the different buttons. We'll go over those later. Uh, USB cable, suction cup, and a uh, plug for your um, cigarette lighter. These dash cameras, they're pretty much all made the same way. Camera, mount, power and they pretty much all install the same way. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the power to the camera. And plug in the cigarette lighter. I'm going to slide the mount onto the camera. Attach the camera. Just it. And that's it. That's all it takes to install these. They're all pretty straightforward. They're all very simple to install. 
I know some of you will probably be going, well, I don't want the power cable hanging across my windshield. And for that, you can hardwire these. I actually already have a hardwired cable in mine, and I'll show you what that looks like. At some point, I'm going to make another video on how to hardwire devices into your vehicle, specifically on how to tap power off your cigarette lighter. So if you want to see that video when I make it, subscribe to the channel and you'll see it when it comes up. One other thing about these cameras is that they typically have a microphone built into the cameras. So if you're ever in a situation where you've been pulled over and you want to record the conversation between you and the officer, these cameras are very easy to quickly adjust so you can do that. One other aspect that I wanted to quickly cover about these dash cams is the memory card aspect. This particular model has a 32 gig SD card in it. It is the biggest that it can take. So if your question is, well, what happens when the memory card fills up? The way that these record is that they record on a loop. So when the memory card is full, it will start deleting the oldest footage and it will start writing over that. So basically what happens is you just leave this up and running and if there's an accident or something like that, you stop the camera and you go ahead and pull the SD card out so it can't write over it and you do what you need to do with the footage. As far as how much these will hold, it just depends on the model. Yesterday I had to drive on the interstate for about four hours one way and I let this run and at 1080p this recorded for three and a half hours and still had plenty of room left on the card. And I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like on 1080p and 720p when these record. One thing you have to remember though is that these are recording through your windshield so it's not you're not going to capture every detail but you are certainly going to capture everything that you need if you have to present footage to either a law enforcement officer or some type of uh, court or insurance or anything like that. And I'll go ahead and show you those now. So that's my video for today. Um, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, here's Grace again. Make another appearance. Say hi, Grace. Hi. And uh, yeah, come back and check out the next video. And again, thanks for thanks for watching.